This is Graduate Monkey Abstract Reasoning Test Tutorial Video Number 2. The test format is compatible with the Cut E Abstract Reasoning Test based on patterns that contain alphanumeric characters. In this video, we're going to review patterns that consist of n number of units of certain characters. In this type of question, each box may have a different character, but it will be present in n units in that box. You should look for this pattern in both groups of boxes, as it's fairly common. Now let's see a couple of examples. Example number one. Here we see four boxes in the upper section of this question set. Notice that two of them have red flags as boxes number 1 and 4, while the other have black flagged boxes, boxes 2 and 3. Both black flagged boxes contain three units of one character. For example, in box 2 it's number 4, and in box 3 it's number 3. The red flagged boxes, on the other hand, do not display any obvious patterns, so they should belong to the other category. When we look at the answer choices at this lower section, where you see three boxes, 5, 6 and 7, we see that boxes 5 and 7 do not display any obvious features that boxes, black boxes here do. Whereas Box 3 has 3 units of number 7. Therefore, it must belong to the black flagged boxes category. Let's see the second example. This set contains 10 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and 10 here. The first 6 boxes belong to the question set. And the black flagged boxes, i.e. boxes 1, 3 and 4 each contain a pair of characters. For example, box 1 contains a pairs of 1, 2 and 6. Box 3 contains pairs of 1, 3 and 7, whereas box 4 contains pairs of 2, 4 and 6. When we look at the answer choices in the lower section, Boxes 7 and 8 exhibit the same feature as do the black boxes above. For example, box 7 has pairs of 1, 2 and 4, whereas box 8 has pairs of 1, 3 and 6. Therefore, these two boxes also must belong to the same category of the black flagged boxes above. Here's a tip. Remember that human eyes are designed to spot obvious patterns and because our eyes are just an extension of our brain, the brain can do much more and go further in looking for patterns. Therefore, roll your eyes on the entire set of patterns to see if your eyes can spot any obvious patterns initially. If you can easily spot that, that the characters come in pairs, you will save your brain some time so it can focus on harder tasks. I hope you find this tutorial useful. If you need other test tutorial packages, feel free to visit www.graduatemonkey.com. See you next time.